Hey everybody, it's Matthew of Mr. Domestic, where we spread joy and positivity through sewing and fabric play. In this video, I am going to show you how to make... Bum ba bum! Bum ba bum! Bum ba bum! <laughs> bum, 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 bum. These are socks, folks, that I made. I made another pair of turtle socks. Like, I made these socks. Thank you, Cozy Toe Socks. The best pattern. I got permission from Peekaboo Pattern Shop to demo this pattern for y'all. I was going to do a DIY one, but when I saw this one, someone posted these, I was like, oh my goodness, I need to show people about this pattern. It's amazing. There are like eight different critters that you can make, like applique. It's super awesome. Three different styles of socks that you can make you can do different sizes like for real get this pattern it is so cool i thought for the holidays end of year anytime really that like the family can have matching socks like it is super duper fun i am jazzed about socks never thought i could do be jazzed in a million years about socks so if you're here to learn how to make yourself some bomb socks then before we get into the content anytime you're enjoying this make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel now let's get ready to have some fun together okay now that y'all have the pattern I am not going to show you how to cut out the pattern pieces and tape them together, but these are the three that I am using. I am doing the crew size and I measured my feet per the instructions and I cut my fabric. I need two of each of these and I use this print from my Aura collection. So I have the back cut out, the front, two of these, and then two of the bands. And so this is what they would look like. And looking at this, yeah, y'all, this is nothing that you can like figure out on your own. I couldn't even do this. This pattern is amazing. Make sure that you get it. And now we are going to get going sewing. The first thing that I'm going to do is these right here, the heel darts. I'm going to sew the heel darts. So now let's go over to my new machine. His name is Alfonso. Everyone say hi, Alfonso, and let's get to sewing. Okay, so now I am over to Alfonso, and as you can see, I have my walking foot on. If you don't have a walking foot, I only ever sew knit using a walking foot and it's an amazing foot so you need to get it and i have on right here a jersey ballpoint needle if you use anything else it's going to poke a hole in the knit and it might force it to run this way it pushes the fabrics out of the way and it will run so i'm going to start here i have this estimated per the instructions it says to and this is super duper smart to sew it, ooh, <laughs> to sew it at about a quarter of an inch and then trim. And I'm using this super stretch stitch, which is super duper loud. <laughs> and it does all of the work for you, but see, I'll show you this here. If you've never seen it, see like boom, boom, boom. I'm using normal thread, I haven't done anything. And then I trim it to an eighth of an inch. One thing again with knit jersey, it doesn't fray. So having it that close is totally fine. It's gonna be durable. And then just because I'm gonna go ahead and sew the other one, as you can see, like I just folded it over right here, match this up and then let's sew it again. I'm not pushing it through. I'm just letting that walking foot do all of the work. And then trim it to about an eighth of an inch. Okay, so now I have the two back and the heels done. Look, that is so awesome and smart. I love this pattern. And now this little toe part, I am going to sew this to this and just watch out for this part of the pattern because there is the chance that you get them confused, but this won't match to this. And this side is shorter than that side. So just make sure that you're sewing it to the right thing. So I'm gonna take this and this over to Alfonso and we'll get some sewing okay, on. Now I am back over to Alfonso. I have one of the fronts 
and then one of the backs and I've lined up, see how this fits? Let me just go ahead and show you the other side so you'll know whenever you have it wrong. So this is the top, right? And if you get confused, then you'll see this. As long as you're not stretching the fabric, you'll see, see, the back is too long for the front. And then this right here is lined up. And when working with knit, if this is like a first knit project for you, when you're sewing, let this do all of the work. Don't pull it, don't stretch it. Just let it do the work. And then if you do that, and as long as you're using the right tools, knit is such a fun and gratifying substrate to work with. So now let's get going. Once again, I'm sewing at that quarter inch seam allowance, then I'm gonna trim it down to one eighth. I'm not pulling it at all. I'm letting the machine do all of the work. Boom. See there? Once again, there is some fabric to trim. And this is preferential to using a serger. Like I was trying to figure this out, like how it would work with a serger. And I just feel like the, the seams would get on your nerves. Like seams as is with socks get on your nerves. So I just couldn't imagine serger seams inside of a sock. But this right here, you can barely feel it. I've already tested it out. So I'll do the other one and I'm gonna bring this back over to the mat just so you can see the final lining up of the awesomeness. And then we'll get back to sewing. Okay, now we have this, right? <laughs> a big old long thing. And that is where this right here. And this is the toes. And I love, love, love this about the pattern. So line this up, right? You can clip it if you want to. I'm not going to. There is one spot that I clipped. And that is the very end so when i sew and this is like just in case there's something off or i cut something wrong this pattern is 100 percent correct so you shouldn't have to worry about it but i'm gonna clip this because since it's knit there might be some accidental pulling and all of that but as you can see it goes all the way to the toe so essentially you're just going to sew up one length and then sew up the other length of this part. And then from there, we're going to attach a band. And so for each band, gotta find the wrong side. The wrong has more pilling. So here, I'm gonna go up there, there, and then right here, and then I'll put these two together. So let's get over to Alfonso. So back over to my sewing machine, and I'm gonna take this here, and I start at the toe. See how this is folded? And lift this up, same setting, same stitch. And then I'm gonna sew it a little bit slower around the curve. But once again, let the machine do all of the work because you don't need to pull on the net. gotten around that curve and now I'm just going to make sure that everything is lined up here and it is and for the seam right here this one I'm going to let it just go naturally it's so small that it's not going to make too much of a difference and then I'll fast forward as I sew this I've gone up one side and now just the other side of the sock at the top. Once again, I'm going to match these up and clip it. And then I'm going to start at this toe and do the same exact thing. I'll just fast forward again. Mm -hmm. 
Yay! Now before I trim this, I'm gonna go ahead and stitch this up. Once again, a quarter of an inch. And I'm just closing this. So this one is done, and I don't even trim this one. But you're gonna fold this over, and this is the top band of the sock. And depending on how you wanted it to fit, I did the regular, so it's just slightly smaller, the circle part, <laughs> than the sock. So I'm going to trim this seam to an eighth of an inch off camera, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have turned the sock right side out. And then this goes on here. So the band line up all the raw edges. And what I do, I do this to my other pair, is I will line up the seams together here. So one side will have the seams lined up. And then on the other sock, I had the seam going the, on the opposite side of the sock, if this is making sense. Wait, so okay, so it's hard to show. So this is the bottom, right? And this is the front. So this is on this side, so on the other one, this is gonna be on this side. <laughs> and that's all I do. And this is one time that I will allow the fabric to stretch with knit, is when doing a band. Because since this is so thick, you're not gonna be able to see it. And I'll just start anywhere. So here. And then as you're going, just make sure that all three raw edges are at least on this side, on this side of the needle. And then just go. Now, as you can see, I'm gradually just like lifting this up so that by the time it goes through here, it's in its natural state. And then just check. And then I'll fast forward it now. <laughs> Yay! And so I will trim this to an eighth of an inch off camera, but then just flip it up and look at the band. It is so cute. Now you can make your own socks. Yay! I have some socks. Now you can make some socks. Do not forget to get the Cozy Toe Socks pattern. I'll link to it in the description and in my blog. But really, these socks are like super duper comfortable. I thought that I was just gonna create some like lounging socks around the house. But like these, I think that like I could work these at work. These are pretty bomb diggity. So, if you enjoyed this video, got a laugh, a tip, or a trick or two, make sure to give it the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Keep it positive, y'all. Mr. Domestic out. <laughs>